Yo guys, what's up? Um, before I start this video, I gotta give a good shout out to my boy Timothy De La Ghetto and Tori Kelly because he did his thing in the magnetic video. Tori Kelly was looking nice and she was singing good as well. I love, look guys, my younger sister came back from camp. Boo! No, I'm <laughs> yeah, she's back from camp and I wish she was gone still. Just kidding. I'm not giving Timothy a shout out because I want to be noticed, you know. I'm just giving him and Tori Kelly a shout out because they did a good job on the magnetic video. I watched that shit like three times and that was fucking good. So now, welcome to GRT, which is called Gerald's Real Talks. And you can say it's like a Dear Delegato, you can say it's like a uh, Joey Speaks, um, a Teddy Speaks, you know, where I talk about advice and tips and shit. So for today's topic is being confident. In order to be confident, you have to believe in yourself. What I mean uh, by believing yourself, I mean finding yourself within, like telling yourself you can do it, uh, being more positive, um, finding a motivation to uh, becoming more confident and telling yourself you can do it, you know? You can't fail, you have to do your best. And that's a problem with uh, these people these days. Uh, they don't believe in themselves, that's why they can't uh, play soccer or play basketball. Let's say they're short and you're up against tall guys in basketball You have to really believe in yourself. You have to tell yourself you can do it. You have to be aggressive You have to be tough and that's why um, a few guys are such pussies these days because they don't know how to believe in believe in themselves That's why man up grow some balls and do your thing man come on secondly you can't be insecure whatsoever you have to learn to be comfortable with yourself because if uh, you're not comfortable with yourself then you're gonna think a lot you're gonna overthink you're gonna assume a lot of shit you're gonna tell yourself oh i'm so fat i can't go after this girl or i'm so skinny i can't date him you know because insecurity is the uh, biggest problem these days and I see that in many girls the prettiest girls be the most insecure ones you can say and um, it's because they always focus on their appearance I mean if you really want to fix your weight nothing is stopping you look at me I lost 25 pounds nothing stopped me well my older sister motivated me to do it and um, you just have to learn to love yourself and be comfortable with yourself uh, lose the weight I know I repeated that um, just work on yourself, learn to love yourself, and I hate it when someone always overthinks and assumes something. Like, if you're gonna be a confident person and you're gonna go after a goal of yours, you can't really overthink or assume a lot of shit because you don't even know what's gonna happen once you try. Cause um, let's just say you're going after a girl, right? And um, you're gonna take her out on a date but then you start saying oh what if this bad shit happen happens and this and that you know when you think negative when you overthink like it fucks with your head so many times like i've done that in the past it fucked me up um that's why you think positive look forward to it and um see how see how it goes because you know what you won't know um how it goes until it happens you get what i'm saying so stop thinking negative stop overthinking uh, stop assuming because you're fucking with your own head. So, Gerald, how are you so confident? Um, it's because back in elementary, I used to be a fat ass, a fat fuck you can say. From grade six, seven, eight, I was a fat ass. But I was still like a bit confident. I was still insecure about myself. Then I got to high school, still insecure, grade nine and 10. And then in the middle of grade 10, I decided to work out uh, started doing cardio so my older sister started pushing me she told me oh Gerald do you want to lose weight do you want to have more endurance do you want to play better basketball do you want to see girl do you want girls to see you differently and I was like hey you know that's a good idea and I worked hard I was tired of being a fat ass so uh, she pushed me I did P90X for like one month um, I don't know if I was consistent but like I lost five pounds the first month um, and then the second month I did insanity and I lost 25 pounds, which is freaking dope from there I became more confident because now that I was I lost the weight 
and um, I was a bit more skinnier. I can go up to girls and stuff and talk to them. I won't have to worry about the, um, the fat around me or um, when girls are watching me on the basketball court, I don't have to worry because you don't see my uh, tits bouncing around and shit like that because it's gone, you know? And I was happy because when you achieve something so, um, it, it felt like really tough for me because I was like 160 and I was really fat. I had really bad endurance too and I lost like 25 pounds so I went from 160 down to 135 but then like I gained a bit of weight which was pretty bad I guess but then again I gotta thank my older sister I love her because she helped me and she motivated me and that's what I'm saying guys you guys gotta um, work hard um, stay focused stop assuming because I didn't assume I didn't overthink I didn't think about bad negative shit on the way I just thought about being successful and I take Timothy Delgado's quote, which is called, success is not a dream, it's a destination. And it's true because I knew I was going to be successful when it came to losing weight. It's just that I was wondering how I was going to get there. So my older sister kind of helped me out and I found my way there. One more thing, um, I like to say like, no one's perfect. You can say no one is perfect. I'm not perfect. Um, you can see I wear glasses, I got some acne here, and um, no one's perfect. I mean, Timothy Delgado is my inspiration, and that's why I started making a YouTube channel. I mean, come on, look at him. He's short, um, he's got acne scars and shit, and he's doing good. He got, she, uh, he's got a beautiful girlfriend too, and uh, he's just doing his thing, you know, screw the haters, screw what anyone else says, and um, focus on yourself, love yourself before loving someone else. And um, I'll see you guys later. Um, thanks for watching. Um, Gerald's Real Talks. I'll come up with a new video around next week. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Yes. Sorry, Kelly. Trey.